the sideboard? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Right. Ready? 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 One, two, two three. Ugh. One more. One, two, three. Last slide down. There you go. My dad was always an active guy. He was the first person to volunteer to be a part of, you know, the coaching staff, you know, from Little League all the way to Kid Pitch. When we went on vacations, I always knew that we were going camping, canoeing, and it was always something physical. He was always out there, you know, throwing balls and, and the whole routine. He's, he's always been uh, a very active dad. He was, he was a very present dad, and I think that's the best part about him. My dad worked at the foundry close to about 10, 12 years. As a safety manager, especially on a foundry, if your phone goes off, you pick up. He would let me jump in the car. I would sit in his office. Kind of got a taste of it a little bit. He definitely made a huge impact where I'm sitting right now, you know, working for Suffolk as a safety manager. We talk on a regular basis about pretty much everything safety. We kind of nerd out a little bit. That's how we connect. And that's something that him and I will always have together. I think the one true date that kind of sticks out is around 2009 is when my mother actually donated a kidney to my father. And it was one of these things where everybody in the family was getting tested to see if we could be live donors. And I'm thrilled to pieces that I was the perfect match. Unfortunately, that wasn't the end of his health woes. You know, with diabetes over the years, you know, a small cut turns into an infection really quick. He lost uh, toes. He started off with losing toes, losing feeling in his feet so he couldn't walk around very much. And up to the point to where I remember talking with his podiatrist saying, we're gonna have to go a more extreme route instead of you know cutting off a toe and maybe a foot to where that they'd actually be amputating the right leg underneath the knee. After the amputation, my dad really struggled with not being able to do things by himself. Okay, you got a new kidney and they fixed your heart and, and you're not gonna you're not gonna lose your life, you just lost your leg, but then reality hits, you know. You come home and it's like, wow, how do I how do I shower? How do I get to my room? Because it's hard. Something like going to the bathroom where he was going to the bathroom on a bedpan and he couldn't even fit into the bathroom. We would do showers outside, a bucket and a sponge, and in your own home to where you're having to get bathed outside and you kind of see it in his eyes, having the people who are closest to him seeing him in such a vulnerable state. I have fallen down, okay? And I've had to call 911. Have him come here and help me pick up. <laughs> it is very emotional. Excuse me. It's very emotional thinking back to those times. We were days away from losing him, you know, mentally, physically. We needed for him to have something to fight for. When I reached out to the Giving Circle, like that was our first thing where it's like, hey, look, like, you know, we need you to have some type of mobility back. The Giving Circle helped us make the changes that we needed to change in our bathroom and in our bedroom to make it accessible so that now my husband can actually get into his own shower, get onto his own toilet. Giving Circle also gave him a, a, a handicapped scooter. The Giving Circle gave him the will to fight for that next step. The Giving Circle alleviated a lot for my family. I am able to go to the bathroom. I'm able to go to the store. I'm able to do the things I can do. And the Giving Circle did that. Your company did that. And for that, I am endlessly grateful.